This is the HTML app data. We're first going to go to the trail and we're going to go until we get to sub program 8. I'll advance 9 at a time. Okay, now we're in sub program 8. I'm going to go a little further to the point it starts putting text into the boxes. All right. Here it started put the text in the box. It put bare video into the box here. Now it says that that text is at page F 2560 plus J. Here it increases the value of J 14 each time it goes around the loop and does another name. Well, let's go to data. And over here is where page F is. And it said at 2560. Here's 2560. Well, that's where it says bare video. And it said each time it would advance 14. Well, here's five picture. 14 more horse sound. 14 more heading. 14 more red stripe, then text, then link, then table. Well, that's where it was in page F. Well, now what we're in page F, we're going to look at other things that are in this page. Those that were used for the HTML. For instance, here we see in page F, http colon slash slash www.w3schools.com slash tag slash movie slash mp4. That's the bear movie. Right below that we see https colon slash slash www.w3schools.com html slash html5.gif. That's the picture with the five in it. Remember these are the URLs that were used to import that stuff. The next one here, http colon slash slash www dot external hard drive dot com slash wave slash animal slash horse dash dash dot wave. That's the sound of the horse. So that's another. So those are the three imported things that it did. And here's the URLs it used to do that. Next is the Google link that it made. It was less than a href equals and then it gives the Google and then it says the wording click here for Google and then it ends it with the slash a. That was the Google link. The one after that has the information for building a table. Remember at the beginning it said like move 47 characters to the, the table line or the HTML table. Well, here's the things that it put there. The information to start a table in HTML. Then after that it needed the information to, to start and end rows. And then it needed the information to put the individual entries in the table. Each entry has to start with less than td greater than and end with less than slash td greater than and in between those two is where it, it put the name. But then when it built the table it put the whole thing so it had the, the td beginning and the td ending. And then when it came to the end of the table here it has the information for ending a table. So this is what it used when it built the table. So now we've seen some of the text data that was used by the HTML app.